back in my Rite Aid and there's nothing to steal because this Rite Aid, like so many other Rite Aids, is closing down because everybody stole everything. <laughs> and the workers here don't know if they're getting jobs. Congratulations, losers. Who are you calling loser, Michael Rappaport? Do you know who the real losers are? You! You and everybody voting for this administration, all right? Yes, I feel bad for the people losing their job, but come on, man, you voted for this. You and everybody, oh, Trump is so bad. We're gonna vote for Joe Biden. Joe Biden promised you nothing. All he said is, I am going to bring people together. How, how, how is that working out? Yeah, exactly. Donald Trump said in 2018, the Democrats are now the party of crime. He was right. Just in case you're wondering, this is a follow-up video to Michael Rappaport's first video. This bags with Lou, then strolls out right past the security guard who does nothing. I can't believe I'm seeing this. The guy behind the camera is actor Michael Rappaport. Yo, this guy just filled his two bags up with everything in Rite Aid right here on 80th and 1st Avenue. He's walking down the street like is gucci look so this is a follow-up to this video all right like he's saying that store is closing good job voting for the party of criminal so in 2018 we all remember when this article came out right from nbc right trump says democrats are the party of crime we fact check his campaign trail claim fact check my yeah, exactly. But honestly, Michael Rappaport, bro, you guys know you are the losers. That's why when you look at the Democratic Party, who's in charge? Women. Women are in charge in the Democratic Party because male like you are cowards. Yes, that's why the most powerful person in the Democratic Party, Nancy Pelosi, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and the list goes on. Women are in charge in the Democratic Party, bro. I posted a video yesterday of a good Samaritan attacked in Midtown after giving coat to stranger while video shows. Here's the white video. Look at this. You can see a nice person coming, trying to help some homeless person. And guess what happened? Exactly. He jumped, take his money, and punch him exactly just a disclaimer i'm not trying to shock you i am not trying to uh, promote violence here but i'm just saying the democratic party is the party of criminal in this story here the men who attacked that asian man also attacked a woman on the upper east side on january 8th as she allegedly uh, was trying to help him he punched her in the face like he says here authority says six days earlier israel that's the name of the low life in that video allegedly attacked another person near central park and he was out so how was he able to attack people like that but he was still out exactly here's another one this is from september 8 2021 bell fund backed by kamala harris freed minneapolis men charged with murder you are the party of criminal. You guys are. It is what it is, bro. You are the loser. You are the loser. Guess what? In 2024, if Donald Trump run and Joe Biden also run, you will vote for Biden again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what President Biden does all the way till 2024. It doesn't matter how high the crime is. You will still vote for Democrat. You know why? Because you are part of the tribe. And when you are part of the tribe, you do what the, the tribe asks you to do. You won't, you will never vote for somebody on the right. Why? Because you are afraid they're going to call you a racist. Uh -huh. You will never vote for anybody else but a Democrat. Why? Because you are afraid they'll call you a racist, Michael Rappaport, and everybody will vote for this administration. Yeah, you will keep voting for Democrat till forever, forever. 200, 100 years, like those people said. Whoever said that? Yeah. It says here, a bail fund promoted by Vice President Kamala Harris helped lead to the release of an alleged Minneapolis domestic abuser who has been charged with murder in a road race lane. The Democratic is the party of criminal. It is what it is. Hey, 
God bless you.